Rolling Tin Fist. Hello, man. I hope you're doing okay. Handling your business, going your own way if you can. I moved into my new abode in much, much, much better environment. Saved me a bunch of money as well. And I almost succumbed to some old habits, but luckily I caught myself and didn't go right out and try to get something shiny and new. I'm really excited about the future, um, the near future anyway. However, there is a topic that I've avoided for some time because it scares me a bit. There used to be this show, I think it's still on actually, maybe I just don't watch it, called Revolution. It's a sci-fi show set in a um, dystopic future. Basically, the premise of the show is somehow the power goes out in the United States and you know the rest, even using your imagination. Governments break down, society breaks down, war breaks out, and people are pretty much brought back almost to the Stone Age, if not pre-Industrial Age. Um, And so one of the first things I liked about the show was the sci-fi aspect. I'll put a link in the description. Um, And I liked how the premise, they really dug into how people not only break down as a collective, you know, how they start to forget the social norms of society, but also how they kind of start to make new ones. You know, they break down from a United States to more of a collection of states, a confederacy, if you will, in the general sense. Also, you have individual tribes that work together um, for the common welfare. Because at the end of the day, with all the prepping, with all the money, with all the know-how, you can't make it in such a dystopic future by yourself. You're going to need other people at some point. So I like the premise of that. However, as I started to watch the show, I started to notice... uh, There was a lot more violence required when even those seemingly joint in thought allies would start to disagree on philosophy, um, certain nuances. And one character in particular had once been married but got estranged from his family, uh, which is typical in such storylines. But in any case, his wife, thinking he was dead, resulted to what women of a certain caliber do best, basically fully invoke hypergamy for the sake of survival. So she managed to hook up with the vice president of this fictitious um, United States, or former United States, and basically use that as a means to survive. So when she finds out her husband is alive, he tracks her down and he's like, wow, this is very nice of you. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you doing well? Um, and they had a child, by the way, as well, which she also assumed had died. In any case, they kind of catch up, and she decides that, okay, I have to play both sides of the same game. So she's still married to the power um, figure that is this vice president and is contending with her husband to be able to find her son. In one particular point, they actually um, are in need of some resources, you know, food, water. And first of all, the man tries to take on the two guys who have the resources, and he gets his ass beat down. So what happens next is the woman goes, and she basically uses her sexual charms to bring down the guard of these men. And then once their guard is down, the husband comes around and basically kills the two dudes the reason i stopped watching this show is the more i watched it and the writing is pretty damn good uh the more i realized this was in parallel to a potential future that could be a modern u.s society this was even before i took the red pill but it's even more glaring now
Du, du, du.